and we are back hello everyone welcome back to five minutes code channel where i will be explaining the solution of every problem of lead code and geeks for geeks so without wasting any time let's get started today's problem is count the number of possible triangles which is marked as a medium level problem let's find out what we will be given into this problem and what we have to do so we will be given one array arr of integer types okay and what we have to do we have to basically tell how many uh, possible triangles i can take how many possible triangles i can make and we have to return the count of it okay all right so now first question is how can we check within this array how many triangles i can make so a very interesting property of triangle is if you will read this line a triangle with three given side is only possible if sum of any two side is always greater than the third side okay all right so if we will simplify this question the problem the problem will be count number of triplets count number of triplets such that sum of two is greater than the third one okay so we have to take let's say three elements from this array three three elements triplets i have to take such that the sum of two sides such as that sum of two elements is greater than the third and if we can find that we will increase the count by one and in this way we have to return the total number of triplets okay all right so this is our expression which we have made and we have to count this okay all right i hope the problem statement will be pretty clear to you if you will see this so there there are three triplets and uh, yeah so basically 3 4 if we will take 3 4 element and uh, it's basically a plus b is greater than 6 so yes one triplet is correct 4 6 7 so 6 4 10 which is greater than 7 correct and 3 6 7 so 3 6 9 and 7 it is greater correct okay all right but if you will see if you will see this triplet let's take one triplet 3 4 and 7 okay so i will write it 3 4 7 okay so here you can see if we will take 3 and 4 as a plus b so it is equal to 7 so i cannot take it we have to strictly greater than we have to find those elements who are strictly greater okay all right so i think this one is also clear and uh, yeah that is it that is it guys for the problem statement and uh, if you will uh, let's say there is one array l triplet 2 4 comma 10 so this we cannot take because we cannot form a triangle with it i think it's it taught in 7th 8th class so yeah i think the problem statement will be clear now let's move on to the um, approach which we can take okay all right so we will first talk about the brute force approach um, so brute force approach is pretty simple here what i will do i will simply take three nested loops i will take three nested loops first loop will be at 0 i j will be starting from i plus 1 and k will be starting from j plus 1 okay and in this way they will keep on iterating and we will take the all possible triplets we will take all possible triplets and check them and uh, the same condition which i told a plus b so it will be something like arr of i plus arr of j is greater than arr of k so if this is true i will increment the count and we will simply return it okay all right but let's see the constraints here to check if we can take this approach or not so here it is 10 raised to the power 3 array size can be as greater as 10 raised to the power 3 and if we will see ki 10 raised to the power 3 into 3 time because it will the time complexity will be n cube we will we are using three nested loops so 10 raised to the power 3 into 3 which will give us 10 raised to the power 9 and i will get time limit exceed so we don't we can't take this approach okay but here if you can see we can take n square time complexity so we have to think accordingly okay all right so now let's think of a more optimal approach and the approach which is coming in my mind is basically a two pointer approach look if i can take the largest element let's say 7 let's take 7 as my target so we have to count the number of pairs we have to count the number of pairs whose sum is greater than 7 i think you guys are getting and then again i can take 6 so we again we have to take the count of those elements whose sum is greater than 6 okay in this way we have to take i hope you guys are getting this so let's take that and uh, uh, let's so for that for that what we have to do we have to first of all sort the array okay we have to first of all sort the array so 3 4 6 7 okay all right and uh, Yeah, so three, four, six, seven is there, and let's suppose for seven. First of all, I will use one 
for loop to iterate on all the elements from the last. So I have got this seven. I will keep my first pointer at three. Another pointer at six, i minus one. Let's say i is last, na? So first pointer will be always at zero index, and second pointer will be at i minus one index. Okay, all right. And in this way, we will simply check that if three and six sum is greater than seven, yes. Three and uh, six sum is greater than seven. So you can see I have got a triplet, which is three, six, seven. Isn't it? Okay. All right. After that, we have to check. Look, 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 guys. If I can take three, six, seven, I can also take four, six, seven. How? Let me tell you. Look, what we are doing here. First of all, I'm fixing one side as seven. I'm fixing one side as seven. Another side I'm fixing as six. Okay. So now I'm taking the count of those elements which I can take such that one side is seven, another side is six. So I have got one element three. So if I can get three, I can get this first any element three. So after three, whatever the elements will be, I can take those as well. Whatever the elements can be, I can take those as well. So I can take four as well because three is the minimum. Because if three is passing the limit, that is three plus six is greater than seven. So all the elements after three, which are in the sorted array, so all the elements after three will also be able to make up here. So four can also be able to make up here. So if this is let's say end at any point, this is starting. So I will increase the count by end minus starting. So it will be two. I have got a two. I have got two triplets. First one is three six seven. Another one is four six seven. Okay. All right. I hope this point is very very clear to you. So let me delete all these things. Now, uh, as I told, seven side is done. Six side, seven side is still there. Six. So six row is done because with seven, all the elements I can take with six side included are done because I have got two counts. So now I have to move this end pointer to four. I have to move this end pointer to four. Okay, all right, and this pointer is still fixed. This is a nested loop. Okay, so this pointer i is still fixed. Okay, again I will check. Starting is equal to three, and ending is equal to four. So starting plus end is greater than seven. No. Okay, all right. So we have to increase the sum. We have to increase the sum. So to increase the sum, what I will do? I will simply increase my starting. Now starting and end both are pointing to same one. So we cannot do anything, and we have to. Like say for this i we are done. For this i we are done. And now I will decrease my i. Okay, all right. So let's decrease this i. Let me delete all these things. Guys, I think you guys are with me till this point, and it's become becoming clear to you now. So three, four, six, seven. Okay, seven is done. So i will be at this point, and as I told, my starting will again be at zero, and my end will be at i minus one. I minus one is this. This is end. Okay, all right. And after that, again I will check that your starting plus end is greater than I. Yes, it means I have got a triplet. So I will now now I have got a triplet. I have to check how many triplets I have got. So how many triplets I have got? That is end minus starting. So end minus starting is currently one only. So I will increase the count by one. And now it means when I have taken the count, it means One side is six, which is fixed. Okay, another side, which is four, is also fixed. So with sides as four and six, the count is done. So we have to decrease the end. We have to decrease the end. Now end will be another one. So end will be decreased to this. Again, starting is equal to end, and we are done. Okay, for this also we are done. And after that, look, yeah, if my i will be at this point, so. I cannot take starting and end. Starting and end both will be same. So while loop will again end. So we have got up three triplets. We have got three triplets, and I will simply return three. Okay. I hope this point is very very clear to you, and the approach will be coming in your mind what we are going to do. So let's take one more example, one more test case, so that it becomes crystal clear to you. Okay. Let's sort this array. It's already sorted. So we will simply do ten, twenty one, twenty two, hundred. 101 uh guys i'm taking a lot of time to explain this so that there is no confusion left and uh, you can uh explain it to anyone at at end at any time and you do not forget okay all right so these are our array elements and my i will be at this point in the very starting okay and uh, this will be my starting okay And end will be what? End will be i minus one. So this will be my end. Okay, all right. So we have to check. Ki yar, look. First is this 300, which is side is fixed. Okay. Again, the next side which I am fixing is this 200. So I have to check the count of elements, which count of triplets I can take with these two sides as fixed. Okay, 300, 200. So if look, 10. Can I take 
no i cannot take 10 because the sum will be less 210 and we have to get the target of 300 okay so we have to increase my starting now starting will be 21 again we cannot take okay now we have to take again uh, i think you guys are getting increase the starting so again i cannot take okay again i will come to this 100 so yeah 100 and 200 which is equal to 300 but here we have to check always greater so we have to again increase my starting so starting is this and is this can i take yes okay how many count i will take how many count i will take so total count i can take is basically uh, is basically in minus starting starting is this so in minus starting is what one only one count well, there is only one index difference okay so now if you remember uh, i have taken the count of all the sides which i can make with 300 and 200 so i have to like move to this and next one so to, for 200 all the sides are done so now int will be marked as int minus minus which is this okay all right so it means we cannot take any more count we cannot take any more count because int is equal to starting so for 300 all the elements are done for 300 all the elements are done okay so now we have to uh, decrease this i to 200 let's quickly delete all these things so again this is my i now okay this is my i so what will be the starting starting will be and will be this and starting will be 10 okay again i will do the same process so for 10 we cannot take for 21 we cannot take for 22 we cannot take for this 100 i can take okay so look one count i already got now i've got another count how many count end and is starting so one difference is there between their indexes so one count okay after that if you remember now end will be decreased so end will be minus minus and now yeah end and starting are both same so we have we are done for 200 as well we are done for 200 as well okay now we have to decrease my end we have to decrease the i so i will be pointing here okay so in that case end will be this and starting will be this okay all right again we will check yeah for 10 100 and 101 can i take uh 101 and 100 and 10 yes we can take because sum is 110 so if i can take 10 i can also take 21 with 100 and i can also take 22 with 100 i hope you guys are with me till this point so for this 101 side fixed 100 side fixed how many elements i can take three three elements i can take so int minus the starting indexes which is three so three count is there okay all right now three count is there which is okay so i will now decrease my int i will now decrease my int okay so int will be decreased in this way again we will check with the 10 as uh, starting int is 22 and this int is not there and i is also same so again we will check with two sides fixed 101 and 22 and we have to again check the count in this way we will keep on doing this and we will get our count i hope this point is very very clear to you and the approach whole approach is very very clear to you when i will write the code it will be let's say there will be no doubts left okay all right so now let's move on to the code section code is very very simple but before that if you have loved the explanation please don't forget to subscribe the channel it will not take anything to from you and it will highly motivate me because only five percent people are subscribing so guys please subscribe the channel and like the video let's move on to the code section first of all i will take answer as zero and before that what we have to do we have to solve this array because then only i can check i can get the target i think you guys have got this so in this way and now first of all i will use a nested loop for loop in i equal to zero i is less than no 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 i have to start from the very last so arr dot length minus one i is greater than equal to zero i minus minus okay all right so if i is this what will be my starting starting will always be zero and in will be always equal to i minus one i minus one okay all right so now what i will do i will simply check while starting is less than int and uh, in this way uh, i will get the sum uh, let's say int sum is equal to no need to calculate the sum i will simply use if arr of starting plus arr of end is greater than arr of i okay so it means i have got some triplets i have got some triplets and how many triplets i have got that will be equal to answer i will increment my answer by how much int minus starting very very simple it is so with this with this means key after this 36 line it means two side with two fixed sides i and int i have got all the possible 
triplets so now i have to decrease my int okay so int might be minus minus otherwise out of this uh, if condition otherwise my sum is still less so we have to increase the sum so starting will be plus plus and at last we will simply return the answer let's try to compile this and i hope it will get accepted if you have loved the explanation please subscribe the channel and like the video i have made a very cool chrome extension for you with which you can watch the tutorials on this geeks for geeks screen only the link will be in the pinned comment make sure to check it out i am going to see you again tomorrow.